This is the week of December 31st, 2001. This is the last time we'll be in 2012. The moon will be drifting through the sign of Libra midweek, which brings into, it into a square with Pluto and Mercury, which can mean a rather direct conversation. Don't forget the budget crisis. Since the moon is the embodiment of our emotions, we can expect honesty, passion, but even a degree of tenderness is in there somewhere. Libra really is about balance. It's about compromise, despite the square to Mercury and Pluto. This may be a time for investigation as Mercury likes to probe and Pluto is very handy at getting beneath the surface. You know, perhaps a revelation of some sort comes on the heels of the recent election. Was this election bought? We should not be surprised by an unexpected or unusual investigation of some sort as Uranus stands in direct opposition to the moon and continues to square Pluto, now joined by Mercury. You know, this may be all about words and a discovery of some sort. Mercury is about investigations. Meanwhile, Mars and Jupiter form a harmonious angle that favors the intellect and cerebral expansion. Most importantly, this is a really intellectual sort of air-like thing. As a result, there may be a real drive to seize on something big. The drive comes from Mars and may be noticeably amplified with Jupiter there to expand the topic. Jupiter amplifies. Both of these planets will be dwelling in air signs, so we can expect lofty talk, lots of electric intellectual activity as Gemini refuses to sit still, while Aquarius, which will be hosting Mars, refuses to budge. So that's an interesting conflict. So even though the conversation may be quick and fiery, we may most likely expect a blockage despite the desire to move. There's a certain stubbornness. A stubborn aggressor may be the best way to describe Mars and Aquarius together, Mars in Aquarius. Driven by a global humanitarian motive, yet constrained by limitations and conditions. This is a theme as we come to the end of the year. Astrology is accurate by all means. Birth date, birth place, birth time. Memorize your rising sign the same way you know your sun sign. Each week, read those two when you sign up for my newsletter, which you can get to from chris at chrislisher.com. Ends up in your mailbox every Sunday evening at 5.30 p.m. So the week ahead is all spelled out for you. Read those two signs. I have a weekly radio show called Turning of the Wheel. It's on every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. on Contact Talk Radio. You can find out about it from my website, www.chrisflisher.com or turningofthewheel.com. If you want to see and help your relatives for the rest of this year, have them have come for an astrology chart to see what their transits will look like for the year to come, contact me at chris at chrisflisher.com. Visit my website, and I hope that this year we can really move ourselves forward in a way that has a lasting impact in a positive direction. I'll talk to you all in the next year.